If you have been curious about how product photography is done, then this tutorial, my friend, is for you. Welcome back to another episode of Tutorial Thursday, my friends. Last week we were looking at the four ways how to monitor your footage. If you haven't seen that episode, check it out. You won't regret it. But today I'm not talking about all the creative ideas and artifacts you can have in order to make your product photography. That will be covered very, very soon in future video. But today I will show you the basics of how to start off, how you can actually take photos of products in a controlled environment, what gear you need and what are the most important accessories to have and which ones are okay not to have. Let's bring it. As I said, you can actually go really, really crazy with the setup and you ha can have tons of lights and, and whiteboards and bounces and fill lights and all the other stuff. But in this video, I don't wanna go really, really crazy with all of this, I just wanna show it in let's say a beginner's level on the most minimum things that you need to start it off. Let's start with the first one. And first, the camera and lens doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter to a certain point, but I will show you that you can do actually quite okay product photography with our beloved Sony a6000 and even with the kit lens. Number two, yes, there are cases where the lens matters more than the camera. And that is when you want to really get blurry background, then you will need to switch to the prime lens because the kit lens, as we know, is not so much capable of creating these blurry backgrounds, but that is in only specific cases. In a lot of cases, you can actually survive with the kit lens and there's no problem with using it. So before we go into practical examples, the thing number three that you need, and this is, I think, even more important than the camera and the lens that you use, because sometimes you could even use your phone, is two things, two and a half. One is a light, second is a tripod, and third is the surface and the backdrop. Let me explain it more into detail. So the importance of the light is that it actually shines on your object Ideally, you would have more than one light source. What I like personally to do is to have a really, really big soft box that creates this very, very nice light and have it right above the subject and then shining on from top of it. It will create this really, really nice and soft light. If you have a smaller light, smaller soft box, it's also fine, but the bigger, uh, in this case, the better, because it will create this softness. And then you can also regulate the amount of light that's coming in. If by any chance you also have this small LED light, like this one, Liber, for example, then you can add some additional uh, feeling to it. You can add a color or you can shine at a specific point and make other part a little bit more shady. Uh, by creating this, you can actually have more dramatic look. The second option, how you can use these little lights like this library, as I told you, is by not using the softbox at all. And then just by hovering over, you can actually create some really cool light and you can find in your camera by looking in the screen, you can see which is the moment when you wanna stop and have that light. But this is only for like details. Generally, you want to have a lot of light. And you could potentially also use the window light, but as we know, it's really, really hard to work with that. So having proper light is always a good idea. And the second most important thing of all of these three things is the tripod because that's why I'm saying the camera doesn't really matter and the lens doesn't matter because you can set the shutter speed and everything and you will not have a shake because you have things on the tripod and you don't have to break the bank. I mean, even the very basic $20 tripod from, from Walmart or Amazon will do the job. You're not gonna take it out on some volcanoes uh, picturing the and the lava or something, you will have it in controlled environment here at home on, on the floor, very stable. You're not gonna touch it. There's not no wind blowing anything. So it's gonna be very, very easy to work even with the cheapest tripod. And I really, really recommend getting one first. 
you simply just set a camera on the tripod and then always remember to use the timer even if it's a two second timer because if you press the buttons on the camera and you have a cheap tripod then you will definitely introduce some uh, shake to it so um, definitely um, use the timer and the third thing it is the surface you're taking photo of and also the background or the backdrop there are different ways of how can you can use the backdrop uh, you can order also online all of these um, crazy backdrops with different colors with uh, also the green screen and then you can put whatever you want I personally I'm not a fan of them I use simply the wall and again I use these little LED lights like this slabber I just put it on the floor or anywhere I want and I shine a specific color on the wall behind the, the object remember that the color of your table or the surface also makes a difference if you have a really grungy uh, looking concrete you know surface then that will create this mood of kind of urban in industrial look or if you have a really soft wood and in, in warm colors that obviously is going to bring uh, a, a much more pleasant uh, look so if you're making some cakes you know maybe you want that more warm home feeling uh, but if you're talking about some screwdrivers or knives then maybe a concrete would be a better example which you could use so definitely pay attention to the color and the surface and the materials that you're using for the backdrop and for the surface my dear friends i really hope you learned a thing or two in this week's tutorial thursday please don't forget to tune in next week because i will be showing you four different ways on how you can record your camera's electric viewfinder in case you want to show off what you're seeing through the camera i'll see you in the next video Ata!